let's study stationary waves like in the previous section we have studied uh, an important application of superposition principle that is interference similar to that stationary waves is also an important application of superposition of waves first let's uh, write down something about the stationary wave we can write when uh, two coherent waves of equal amplitude traveling in opposite direction superpose in a region on all the medium particles then in this region oscillation of all particles get modified and this region is called stationary waves as we know when two coherent waves superpose on one medium particle phenomena of interference takes place at that particle in this situation when two waves are traveling in opposite direction like this if there is a source s1 and there is another source s2 and they send out waves in opposite direction and both are of equal amplitude a and as these are coherent then on all the medium particle these waves will superpose and simultaneous interference will take place on all the medium particles in this region the modified oscillations of all the medium particle we term as stationary wave as the two waves are having equal amplitude equal frequency obviously their power will also be equal so here we can write down a note that in the region of a stationary wave no net flow of energy takes place in either direction because we can state here energy will be in equilibrium the amount of power which is flowing in one direction is exactly equal to the amount of power flowing in other direction so in any region net energy flow can be taken as zero let's also discuss how uh, qualitatively we can explain the modification in oscillation of these medium particles this basically explained with the help of uh, the concept we already studied in interference like if the two sources are started simultaneously let's talk about uh, the medium particle which is exactly located between the two sources where the two waves will travel equal path and superpose on this medium particle so we can say for this particular particle path difference of waves will be zero as they are covering equal paths so at this point the two waves will uh, produce constructive interference and the particle will oscillate with amplitude 2a as individual amplitude of the waves is uh, a now if we slightly move away from this point then we can say at uh, another point path difference will be increasing as path of one wave is getting shorter and that of other is getting longer say just to analyze i take a point located at a distance lambda by 4 from this point at this point i can say the path of the second wave will be lambda by 4 shorter and that of first wave is lambda by 4 longer so here i can say the path difference will be lambda by 2 and we know when path difference is uh, an odd multiple of lambda by 2 destructive interference takes place so we can say as amplitudes are equal this particles uh, resulting amplitude will be zero or it will be kept at rest further at a distance of lambda by 4 from this point which is at a distance lambda by 2 from the middle position 
we can say here part difference will be lambda as path of this wave is lambda by two shorter and that of this wave is lambda by two longer. Again, constructive interference will take place and the oscillation amplitude will be two a. Similarly, again at a distance lambda by four from here, part difference will be three lambda by two and amplitude will be zero. Similarly, on the other side also we can say the points will be there which are having zero amplitude and two a amplitude at a separation of lambda by four from one another. If we talk about those particles which are located between the points of constructive and destructive interference, then we can say the part difference will be in between zero and lambda by two. So amplitude of oscillation will be certainly less, and gradually as we move away from this point, it will be decreasing. Similarly, on the other side, same modified oscillations will exist in this manner. So here we can say every medium particle will have a different oscillation amplitude, and their amplitude of oscillation mainly depends on their location. In this situation, the whole region in which simultaneous interference is taking place on medium particles will have modified oscillation at different particles. And the successive points where constructive and destructive interference takes place are separated by a distance lambda by two. So here we can say those points at which uh, this is a characteristic we define for a stationary wave. This is the whole region we call a stationary wave. Those points which are uh, in the medium where destructive interference takes place are called nodes of a stationary wave and those points where constructive interference is taking place or the amplitude is maximum in the medium are called anti nodes of a stationary wave so anti nodes are the locations where constructive interference is taking place and nodes are the locations where destructive interference is taking place so just be careful about the basic qualitative analysis which we have done right now. In next section, we'll be mathematically analyzing how the amplitude of different particles in a stationary wave depends on their location. Let's discuss that in next section.